Hello everyone, and welcome to another Electric Playthrough. My name is Rob, and today I'll be playing Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. Now, I'm not a speedrunner or a professional gamer of any kind. I just am a guy who has played a lot of this game and knows pretty much every little trick and secret there is. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, doing a complete 96 star playthrough uh, showing you all the exits so that you can get this 96 star on your file as I have right here. So what we're going to do is just start with Mario B and get started. Jump right in. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different than my normal videos. Instead of doing one long playthrough of the game as I have done in the past, I'm going to do this by world. So this is part one and um, let's get started. First thing you want to do is go to Yoshi's Island 1 and start headed towards that yellow switch palace. If you've ever played a Mario game before, you should uh, immediately recognize the setup here. Just move right, stomp on dudes' heads, grab power-ups and coins. And really what you want to do, since this first world is pretty easy, is just gather as many one-ups as you can because later on, especially in the special worlds, going for some of those hard-to-reach exits can be pretty difficult. And that's what the number in the 96 star indicates, is how many level exits you've gone through. And some levels have multiple exits. And so finding them all is what gets you that little star icon next to your file. So this is a good world to just practice your shell kicking and your enemy jumping and getting as many one-ups as you can, which you do by collecting coins and uh, collecting dragon coins, which are these Yoshi coins right here. And by getting these end of level ribbons, which once you get to 100 points, the higher it is, the more points it gives you. Once you get to 100 points, you get a little mini game, which I will show you later on. It's Yoshi's Island 1. Now I said World 1 is a good place to start racking up 1-ups, and that's very true. This game, compared to previous Mario games, is uh, I think considerably easier. It, uh, it kind of just throws 1-ups at, at you. 1-ups and power-ups like crazy. I mean, I've only finished one level and I'm already up to 10 lives. There you go, that's the Yellow Switch Palace. Here's Yoshi's house, a nice little seaside villa he's got going there. Alright, level two free one up and then the world's first introduction to Yoshi now Yoshi's got a few interesting abilities based on the type of Koopa shell he has in his mouth red Koopa shell when spit out blows fire green Koopa shell is just a regular projectile yellow makes you stomp really hard on the ground and blue gives you the ability to fly now a twinkling, rainbow, flashing Koopa shell, which is actually pretty rare, gives you all the abilities at once. You don't see a lot of those in this game. Come up here, grab your dragon coin. Down here we have all these flying question blocks. They're all coins except for this one. It's a one up. Just avoid that guy. And there you go. Growing up playing this game, I, I this this was my favorite console growing up. Super Nintendo and this game came packed in and before I had it I remember going over to my uncle's house 
and sitting there and playing it with him. And I remember the house had a very unique smell. I, uh, I, I just kind of put up with it because I wanted to play this game so badly. But I remember the smell would give me headaches and it was just, thought it just smelled awful, like, like B.O. or a skunk or something. Well, I grow up and go to college and figure out that my uncle was smoking marijuana while I was playing Super Mario World. So every time I smell marijuana, I think of Super Mario World. It's funny how our brains associate smells. This level's a little bit trickier than previous levels. A lot more tricky platforming, but if you just keep moving and watch your footing, you should be fine. There's actually a double bonus for collecting coins in this game. If you collect enough, I'm not sure how many, this star block gives you a 1-up. I did not get enough. Uh, I'm not sure how many you're supposed to get, but that's fine. I have tons of lives already. Alright, Yoshi's Island 4 is another great level for racking up 1-ups. Pretty straightforward and simple level, just try not to fall in the water and get caught up with these uh, spiky guys floating by. So if you don't have Yoshi, you can throw that Koopa shell up to this block. But if you do have Yoshi, you can just hop right off him. Grab the star. Oh, no more enemies. So yeah, not bad, up to 21 by the fourth level. There we go, the perfect amount of stars to get a bonus game. So what you're trying to do is hit these blocks and make straight lines. So let's see what I can do here. Fortunately, I missed the pattern with the flower on it. I got stars, but that still gives me four one-ups. At the end of every world, you have a castle to get through. This first one's pretty simple. It does not let you take your boy Yoshi in, so you gotta do it the old fashioned way. Climb along the fence, punch Koopas. You can also spin behind the fence if you want, which I thought was awesome, although it doesn't serve a huge purpose. Checkpoint. And just watch your head. For the most part, you can just stay all the way right as long as you don't kill yourself jumping in that hole. Iggy Koopa time. Oh, almost got him in one, one go. Boom. Easy. You get this cool little cutscene of Mario destroying the castle, which looks much smaller from the outside. Gotta say. Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in castle number one and rescued Yoshi's friend who is still trapped in an egg. Together, they now travel to Donut Land. Alright, well, thank you for watching part one. In part two, we will take down Donut Land. <laughs>